Welcome everybody to another episode of Latif's Inspired, a special little episode today. We're going to be making a fantastic, a proper lamb roast. We're going to sit down and enjoy with the staff as a staff meal. Normally when we have a staff curry, we normally have a chicken or a lamb curry or balti or handi. Today is going to roast the lamb. It's going to take us a good three hours in the oven and then we're going to finish it off in a further one hour. So I'm hoping we, it's going to be ready for about 10 o'clock. So it's Thursday as you can see. We've got some buner onion. So we've got some buner onion cooked ready for service. This is the gravy ready for today's service. And this is the chicken. Pre-cooked chicken. There you go. Also ready for service. The chef's making a uh, gravy as well. And then we've got the Grandmaster Chef. I'm going to eat it. I'm going to eat it. I'm going to eat it. So, the shoulder of the lamb. Now this is a huge piece. I'm gonna just take off the neck part. There you go. I haven't butchered this before. I'm not a butcher, but I'm gonna give it a go. Now these are the chops. This is the back chop, very expensive part of the lamb. So I wanna take this off actually. We're just piercing these, so basically the marinade can go in, into this lamb. There's a lot of meat on the lamb leg, so that's enough piercing. We're going to need to do the same on the shoulder. Wonderful. Now we're just going to wash these and then uh, just pat it dry, and then we're going to add the marinade. So I'm going to get one of my guys to help me just wash this while I get the marinade ready. Right, I got one of the lads helping me out. I know it's nearly 2 a.m. in the morning, but he's gonna help me wash this. Kita orang boh. Looking forward for rainy kayak balagi. Je. Eh? Kecuh kau itu ni, tuar. Eh, kecuh kau itu re. Clean kau mesti untuk lagi. So I'm gonna let Saiful uh, clean uh, the lamb, and then we, uh, let me get the spices ready. Right, so we just wash the lamb and just patting it dry, so the marinade can go in. Beautiful. So these are the lovely spices. I've got about uh, about four tablespoons of salt. I'm using paprika, about four tablespoons of paprika, about uh, one and a half, uh, about two, two tablespoons of turmeric. And this is Kashmiri chili powder. I like the color. So I've used a bit of the Kashmiri chili powder. And for the spice, I'm only using cumin. I don't want to put over spice here, just a little bit of flavor. So I've decided to use cumin. And for aromatic, um, herbs i'm using oregano i love the turkish style when they use the paprika oregano and cumin so that's what i'm kind of going for and i've got some pepper this is ground white pepper for a bit of heat so these are the spices so bismillah lovely spices going in ginger and garlic i'm going to use there's a fair bit of meat so one two three for yes i would say for the uh, five there you go five tablespoon of ginger and garlic mix so this is basically ginger garlic green chilies and coriander you can use just ginger garlic if you're doing it at home so i'm using the fat my favorite mustard good old british mustard coleman's mustard so one four five five tablespoon of mustard so uh, we use three lemon so these are juice of three lemons bismillah um went to the local supermarket asda bought this olive olive oil this is pretty good there's a fair bit of meat so i'm gonna get about i'm gonna use about one cup of extra virgin olive oil there you go so let's just mix the marinade 
That's about three tablespoons of vinegar. Mm. Boro pis lila. Bismillah koi arambo koro massage koro massage koro. Bismillah. Okay, for my language, I have a nefarwaki. Oh, Sundor Kalara Gatohara is in Yanguli. Oh, okay, we are on a fresh start for So it's about 2.20 in the morning, lamb's been marinated, so that's 12, 13, 14, 15, about 15, 16 hours is going to be marinated for, marinated, and then we're going to stick it in the oven for tomorrow. Right, the first order of the day, we are making a lamb garlic chili, somebody wants it vindaloo hot, uh, lamb biryani uh, with no coriander, pillar rice, egg rice, and um, I'll show you the order. So to start off with some oil, this is a garlic chilli, so loads of garlic. Sliced green chilies, good pinch of salt, good pinch of kasuri methi. This is fresh bunar onions which I made earlier. Give it a stir. Sometimes when it heats up too much and a little bit of water, it creates a flame. So be careful. Just like that. So we just need this to soften up and marry up together. So put it on a lower gas. Uh, now I'm making biryani sauce. I've got two biryani sauce on the order. So oil, garlic, a bit of salt. And the chef's making mamaki tabanai Egg rice? Egg rice. Now watch us make the egg rice. Mama Ratulatulu. So biryani sauce, mixed vegetables, fresh peas. So the lamb's gone in. This is going to be vindaloo shrimp, so mixed powder. Look at that. Huge. Loads of chili. Tomato puree. Garlic chili, I use that Patax brand. Garlic paste. Just give a bit of water because I don't want that chilies to be bitter. Because it's vindaloo. Look at that red hot. There's gravy. And I put it on a simmer. Wedge of tomatoes. So I'm making a karai. So these are your hot peppers and onions. Slightly al dente, so sort of um, not too soft. Garlic. Bit of salt. Bit of kaskiri methi. Oh, my God. 
So this is a karai, just added a bit of English mustard and now I need this to simmer up. So when the oil rises to the top of the vindaloo, that's when it will be ready. Zika or kita omelette kita lagi one ida kan zika na. Kita lagi one ida omelette wa. Omelette ko lam ida ni Two biryani sauce. So when you see the oil has risen to the top, that's curry is ready. So lamb, garlic, chili, ready in five minutes. This is vindaloo strength, very spicy. Beautiful. I can smell the green, smell the chilies. Oh, how long is it? I'm going to get a student visa from Anna. Right, it's about 6 o'clock and we're going to get the lamb ready in the oven. Now last night we marinated the lamb. There you go. So it's been marinated for a good about 15 hours. 12, 15 hours. I don't have a bigger tree. I'm gonna have to somehow fit it in here. So these are potatoes. Lamb leg, this, this is the biggest piece, so this goes here. There you go. This should be okay, all the drippings should go and fall into there. Unfortunately, I don't have a bigger pot. Now some water to create some steam. Come and show this, Samadbe. As you can see, some of that marinade is dripping, so it should drip and fall into here. There you go, so the lamb is going in. It's about five minutes past six. Right, so we put the lamb in the oven, it's about five minutes past six, and we're gonna open the oven about five minutes past nine, three hours. Halfway we'll have a look. So we're gonna need to be a bit patient, and then we're gonna start cooking the other process. So we're gonna make a lovely cumin rice, and a very healthy option, which is gonna be the yogurt, Greek yogurt style uh, tzatziki. Uh, and also we're gonna make an Arab influenced mandi sauce. So tomatoes, uh, green chilies, coriander, it's gonna be absolutely gorgeous. And if you enjoy what I do, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more videos at Latif's Inspired. We're going to make a grand meal and we're going to stuff ourselves tonight. I haven't eaten all day, so I'm looking forward to the meal and I'm praying it's going to be absolutely gorgeous. Right. It's about five minutes past nine. So the lamb has been in there for about a good three hours. So we need to, we need to check up on the lamb. Let's go. Oh, my 
شاء الله ماموزي ماموزي كده هو عوا Oh, this one, this part is juicy. Oh, wow. Wow. Wonderful. Oh, wow. Shoulder of lamb steaming away. Beautiful. Atlas, <laughs> الله رحمه الله. بيا ليمون جوس. بعد four five garlics. So that's the lemon and the garlic. These are the dill. Cucumber, de-seeded it, and put some salt, squeezed out some of the water. Some salt. One and a half teaspoon of salt. Pepper. Some olive oil. Greek yogurt. Right, we're making the lamb, and guess what? We've got some lovely neighbours. Introduce yourself. Hi there, my name is Mike. Slice Culture Pizza from uh, Stoke on Trent. Uh, where, 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 where's your Where's your pizza shop? Because I've got one with a pop up, so we're doing next door at Hip Hop's Two Doors. Okay. So the private party for tonight, basically. But, so yeah. uh, where are you based? Stoke on Trent. Stoke on Trent. Yeah, yeah. So you're based in Stoke on Trent. What's your address for the? Slice Culture um, on Instagram. Yeah. SliceCulture.co.uk. So Slice Culture in, uh, on Instagram. Yeah, yeah. And he's been very nice. He's a pop-up shop in Stoke-on-Trent, and he's brought out some lovely pizzas. Check this out. So we've got a Rikito pepper sun-dried tomato margarita with some mojamara, which is like yeah. a. This is a gourmet-style pizza. Yeah, it's like yeah. Egyptian sort of like romesco with like red peppers and wow. um, pomegranate and loads of basil. Oh wow! All veggie cheese, spenwood cheese, which yeah. is the. UK's best cheese at the yeah. World Cheese Awards. Oh wow! Yeah. 
exactly. And this yeah. one is one of my favourite. So it's like a marinara again, yep. with less, less mozzarella, but some fresh mozzarella yep. on top again. It's lovely. I yep. mean, you do chicken, you do everything, but most of the lads here are Muslim, so we needed the halal. So yep. you, he's catered for us and bought his lovely gourmet pizzas. Thank you so much, yeah. really appreciate that. Thank my you. hands are a bit covered yep. with, <laughs> I'm, I'm making a big massive lamb roast. Awesome, for context, so. big fan of Ayala Teeth. Yeah, oh. I make my IR curries at home myself. So uh, yeah. today, my friend at work made me his recipe. So yeah, you need to real. give me a, a, when you're next down or whatever. Just pop, give me a little card, and I'll, I'll see if I can pop down because these pizzas look outstanding. Thank you, man. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Nice see one. you soon, and good luck. Right, it's all go Thursday about 10.30. The lamb, we've turned the oven off and we're cooking the rice. The rice has been steaming away and I, I'm gonna leave that for another 10 minutes, but I need to check on the rice if it's cooked because we're so busy, as you can see here. Look, check this out. Chef's, chef's making all the onion barges. Just ready for service for tomorrow. Gravy's nearly ready. Let's have a look, see if the rice is done. Yep, looks wonderful. Let that steam away. By the time we eat, it should be ready. No worries, mate. You've done fantastic, mate. Oh, Carving the lamb. This is the half of the meat from all the lamb. We've taken it off the bone. This is the first time me cooking half a lamb. I normally cook the leg of lamb or the shoulder of lamb and it comes to perfection. I didn't have the right utensils, but it is what it is. The sauce is going to be absolutely gorgeous, I, I know that for sure. And the meat, all the texture isn't right to how I really wanted it. But we're going to enjoy it and I made some chilli sauce and some tzatziki. Right, so we're going to have a fantastic evening. Right, right, right. Bismillah rice for rice so this rice has got a bit of beef stock. There you go, some tomato, onion, Bangladeshi salad, tzatziki, green chili sauce, roasted lamb, roasted potatoes in its jus. This is beef infused pila rice, yakhni. And the staff are going to enjoy a fantastic meal. You're a foodie, so if you say that it's, I'm happy. Look at my lamb glistening away, lovely fats, roast potato, the rice, green chutney, and the tzatziki. I'm happy with that. Lovely. This guy's always taking a takeaway, he doesn't eat with us. <laughs> and, uh, 